Welcome to Transition to Life, Daily Living Skills. Today we're going to learn how to make microwave popcorn. Before you get started in the kitchen, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water so that you don't introduce any germs or contaminate your food. There's a good news, bad news story when it comes to processed food or quick foods. And that is, they are so tasty, they are so delicious, and they're so easy. That's the good news. The bad news is, they're not very good for you. Usually they're full of fat, they're full of salt, they're full of calories. So when you make choices, your best bet is to make the healthiest choices you can with processed foods. In this case, I'm choosing light butter. It has fewer calories, and less fat. That is a way to make something that is really awful, a little less awful, and a little better, healthier choice. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is take out a package and open it up. Most prepared food is covered in a cellophane wrapper and you almost never cook anything with that cellophane wrapper. Once you get rid of that, inside are the directions. This says, this side up. Also, number one in the directions here says, don't use the popcorn setting on your microwave. Different microwaves have popcorn settings and they all um, cook for a different amount of time. So we are going to follow the directions here and it says cook our popcorn for one minute and 45 seconds on high. I'm going to set it this side up in my microwave. Then I'm going to push one, four, five, start. The next thing it tells me is to listen. That while my microwave cooks, I want to listen and I want to smell to make sure that, that I, my popcorn continues to pop the whole time and that I don't smell it burning. We're in the middle of popping and you can hear it's really going to town in there. We have just a few seconds left and I'm still standing in the kitchen. I'm not looking into the microwave oven, but I'm close enough to hear it and smell it. You can hear that it's starting to slow down. And it's slowing down enough that I'm going to stop it just before it's done. But I don't get into the microwave right away because my bag of popcorn is very, very hot. If you have sensitive hands, use a mitt and reach in and get your popcorn with the mitt. If you don't, you can hold it by the corner, but be careful and set it down. To open your microwave popcorn, I hold one corner and the neck and the opposite corner with just on the paper. I don't grab the the full part of it because it's too hot. I'm going to pull each corner away from the other corner. Do you notice though that it's not by my face? I'm holding it away from my face because I don't know if you can see it, all that hot steam is coming up. And if I had it next to my face, that steam would come right into my face and burn me. Once I've opened up one side, I'm going to grab the other side and pull that too so that I have my nice warm popcorn. I can pour it into a bowl and eat it or I can eat it right out of the bag but I'm going to be careful because for the next minute or so it's still going to be very hot. Anyway, whether you put it in a bowl or eat it out of the bag, it's time to enjoy your microwave popcorn. <laughs> 